Morning, everybody. Welcome to my Shabby Craft Studio. I'm Martha. Thank you ever so much for being here. I am grateful you have joined me today. I, uh, I don't know why, but I've been thinking about doing this video for a little while. And I thought that I would just do this and share. Um, in my handmade journal journey of about two-ish years at this point, I think it's been, um, I have tried many, many glues. And I thought that um, I would share my opinion on the glues I have tried. I um, am one of those people that tends to, you know, kind of want to try to have the same success other people have had. I think we all want that. And so I have tried many of the glues that many other people have tried. Some people love one type or two types of glue and stick with those glues no matter what happens. Even if they get like a bad glue stick and they have some trouble with it or whatever. I kind of lose patience with things very quickly. So I have pulled out the glues that I think I have. I mean, I've, I have a few more that I keep thinking about and keep pulling them out. And I keep, I have, I've started this video three times. <laughs> so we'll see if this one flies. Anyway, at this point in time, this is what I'm going to go with. Now, some of these I had to pull out from drawers that they've been stuffed in for months because I tried them and really didn't like them, so I no longer use them, which is a big waste of money. And for those that are just starting out, I think it's important to remember that you don't need everything everybody else has just to be successful. Um, starting out, you want to find your own rhythm you want to find what works for you. And even something as much as climate can make a big difference in what you might use that works for you that doesn't work for me and vice versa. I live on the East Coast. I live in Virginia. Uh, unfortunately, not on the coast next to the ocean, but inland. And we have very high humidity. It's very hot in the summer. It gets pretty darn cold in the winter. We generally don't get a lot of snow, but we still have humidity even in winter. So there is, there are, you know, states out west that it's always very, very dry. And that may affect the glue you use. So without further ado, <laughs> We're gonna glue. No, um, we're gonna talk about glue. So, the favorites of a lot of people are Uhu and Art Glitter Glue. And that's not a very good label because I've been using this bottle since I bought it. So I refill it with the refill bottles. I've had the same metal tip, not the same pin because I'm always losing pins and we will talk about pins. And Fabri-Tac. I think these are the three that most people use the most. Okay. Now, Uhu, of course, is a glue stick. Now, this one's called Magic Blue, and I didn't notice that when I bought it. From what I have read from other people commenting, the Magic Blue is not as good as if it doesn't say Magic Blue. <laughs> I don't know what the other one says because I don't have a tube of it. So there's the Uhu, which I dislike. Now, maybe it's because the ma it's the Magic Blue. Maybe it's because it doesn't work well in humidity. I don't know. Art Glitter Glue is my number one go-to glue. Um, I like the fine tip. You do have to use a stainless steel pin. And it comes, if you get the, the I think my set came similar to this. It had a bottle similar in size, maybe larger, as a refill. It had this bottle. It had this cap, and there was a black cap on top of this, 
and the stainless steel cap, which is um, the fine tip, is very messed up on mine because I'm not good at taking good care of it. And then it came with a pin. I lost my pin. So I went to Hobby Lobby, and I think it was Hobby Lobby, and I found stainless steel pins in a little box, and they have to be stainless steel. And I keep these separate from all of my other pins. This is in my book binding drawer um, next to me. And I've probably gone through five of these pins. They do not rust. You cannot use pins that are not stainless steel in your glue bottles. Trust me. Because I couldn't find my stainless steel pins. And I used a regular pin. And I had to go on a hunt because my bottle immediately became rusty my bottle tip okay so those I'm going to move these out of the way those are my this this is my top glue my personal favorite um I use this on paper and fabric and I use it on the heavy cutouts from Tim Holtz um I use this on everything. I, I literally use this on everything. And that's if I have small bits of fabric that I'm attaching to something, I use that, that glue. If I have large bits of fabric that I'm gluing to something, I will probably take the Fabri-Tac out and use that. However, I don't love Fabri-Tac. The smell really, really gets to me. And sometimes I find that it doesn't stick as well as I'd like it to. There was something I made a while back, and for the life of me, I can't remember what it was now. Because, <laughs> you know, it was a while back. And I ended up using a combination of these two glues because one or the other wasn't sticking very well. So I sort of mixed them. Don't think there's any harm in that. Who knows? Um, but <laughs> maybe that's why I don't remember what it was. Maybe I got brain damage. Who knows? Anyway, I used them both. And it really helped to use both. So the Fabri-Tac does say it bonds fabrics, lace, glass, leather, wood, and trims, grabs fast and dries clear. It's acid-free and it's washable, which means it should stick even after it's washed. I wouldn't, you know, glue a piece of clothing and then wash it multiple times, but hey, what do I know? Okay. Glue sticks. I have tried the Joann's and I have tried the Uhu. I don't know why the Uhu does not work for me. Like I said, maybe it's the magic blue. Joann's doesn't do it for me. I used it on some things. Very unhappy with it. My go-to glue sticks are the Scotch Mega Glue Stick. Now, this one is the purple. This one is the white. Um... This one says, applies purple, dries clear, non-toxic, and washable. Okay. Um, now, something I just noticed when I pulled these out. This Scotch Create says, permanent glue stick, multi-purpose, fast bond, less mess, non-toxic, acid-free, and photo safe. Something this glue stick does not say. So I would recommend if you're going to use the Scotch glue stick, and I have probably a dozen of these in my drawer, I'm still using them. Um, I don't expect anybody who buys one of my journals to have that thing around for 50 years. I mean, is that realistic? Probably not. So I do worry about acid-free, but you know, we use papers that aren't necessarily acid-free in our journals when we make them. Uh, you know, are doilies acid-free? Who knows? It doesn't say on the package. Are coffee filters acid-free? Not if they have coffee on them or tea. So, uh, you know, honestly, I don't worry about that as much because I don't expect anybody to keep one of my journals for 50 or 75 years. And hopefully the thing wouldn't disintegrate before then. Um, but if you're concerned about it, this is the one I would use. It also says bonds to paper and fabric. Can you see that right there? So 
This is my favorite glue stick. It's large. It lasts a good long time. I do put it on heavy because any glue stick you use, you can't just put one swipe on there and expect it to stick. It's not going to. Um, so I really, really, really love this glue stick better than anything else other than my art glitter glue. <laughs> and like I said, I do have a lot of these in there. I buy these at Joann's. You can find them on Amazon, although it's a little tough. And this is the 1.41 ounce size. Both of these are 1.41 ounce. They're, they're big. When they say mega, they're big. The other, here's one that's open. That's the, the purple one. So that's this one. And it even says, apply at least two strokes. Bonds items quickly, non-toxic. Okay. And that's the purple one. Now, I have also been using this. This is an Elmer's Sticks to More Surfaces. But it's gloppy, it's gloopy, it's, it's really thick, and it's not great. However, Elmer's Craft Bond, I have really enjoyed using as well. These are little ones. Um, it also comes in this size. And I have been using these. It's acid-free, photo-safe, non-toxic, permanent bond. Again, you have to put it on with several strokes. And you really have to be cognizant of putting it around the edges. Any glue stick, you have to really, like I go up the middle of the, the piece first, and then I go around the edges a couple of times because that's the last thing you want to come up is the edges. And yes, sometimes I have to go around the edges and use my fine tip art glitter glue and glue those down, especially if I'm not sewing. But this is a really good glue stick as well. And, you know, it's not very expensive most of the time. Again, um, I was able to find this at most Walmarts. Since COVID-19 hit, I have not been able to find it. I think you can get it on um, well, Amazon. And if I can find those links, I'll put them below in the description box, which looks like an upside down, that looks like a heart, diamond shape. <laughs> I always do that. Here, this is what it looks like. I have a little piece of paper here that shows it. See this, see this black mark? The description box, if you click on this black mark right below the video, that's where the description box is. It's important to know that because... That's where most YouTubers put all their information. Okay, on to the next items. Mod Podge. I absolutely hate Mod Podge because I live in a humid climate. Humid climate. Um, it's always sticky. It never dries. Hate the smell. Drives me nuts. I have a drawer full of probably five canisters of different sizes, uh, matte and glossy. Hate it. I hate it. I'm probably going to end up throwing it away because that's how much I hate it. Liquitex Matte Gel. I don't generally use matte gel for glue. However, it is a glue. It's a bit expensive. Um, and I like to use it the most for putting down napkins. Now, I just looked in my drawer to see if I had another one of these, and I do. However, it's not matte. I got glossy. And I don't know if I'll use it now because I don't like glossy. So I'm going to have to try it under my napkins and see. And I'm going to be getting another one of these uh, with either a Michael's Hobby Lobby or Joanne's coupon. Um, yes, paste. No. <laughs> Just no. This stuff is so thick. Um, it says all purpose stick flat glue. It's acid-free. A lot of people like it. Um, however, and I can't even get this one open. Urgh. Okay. You will see that I have not used very much of it. I have used it. It's a paste. 
it dries before I can get an entire item. Like if I'm using it for a book cover or something to cover it in fabric or whatever, I, it dries before I can get anything set on it to put it on. It's very thick. It's very hard to spread. Basically, um, if you use a card, like an old bank card, credit card, um, store card, you can scoop it out and spread it on. But again, it dries really fast. Um, if you don't get it smoothed out, uh, it leaves lumps. And I'm not crazy about it. So it sits in my drawer, and that's why it's hard to open. My newest uh, acquisition for glue is Tacky Glue. And the reason I got this big giant bottle of it is because I have been doing some more of my faux handmade paper and I need to cover a large surface with a brush and it needs to stay wet enough for me to put the items on and then put a napkin over the top. All the other glues I've tried haven't done that. Um, I don't want to waste my art glitter glue because it is sort of expensive and I like using the art glitter glue for things that I want to glue quickly. It dries quickly. It adheres quickly. Um, but it doesn't stay wet enough even if I water it down, which I don't want to do because, again, I don't want to use my more expensive glue for that. So on these pages, I used the Aileen's Tacky Glue. And I actually put it in a um, plastic container. And I did this yesterday morning. And the glue is still, I don't know if you can see that, it's still runny. And I didn't cover this. I added probably, uh, like, probably if it was a tablespoon of glue, I sprayed in probably a teaspoon of water. And it worked really, really well. It washes out of the brushes very easily. So I am pretty happy with that. It's very, very thick. I take this cap off. <laughs> Again, can't get it. I have to use my letter opener to, to get it off. And I pour it into my container, whatever I'm using. I squirt water in there with my, let's see if I can do this without bumping you with my distress sprayer so that I don't pour too much water in. It's easier to spray, stir, spray, stir until I get the consistency I want. And so I'm happy with this. Um, dries clear, non-toxic. Um, it's supposed to be safe to use. So that's what I'm using. And I'm not selling this paper. What I do is I make digitals out of it and so sell them as a kit. So um, that's it. That's my glue review. And I don't know if this will help you or not, but I am most fond of my art glitter glue and either the craft bond, and it has to be the craft bond, not the school glue, um, not any of the other ones or the scotch glue stick the scotch create glue stick which is photo safe as is the craft bond um and they're acid free and you know they adhere well i'm happy with these these uh glues right here and i would highly recommend them and then third i would probably recommend the fabri-tac Although, if you're sensitive to fumes, probably not the best glue for you to use. Um, and you have to thin down the Fabri-Tac with nail polish remover, which is because it is acetone based. Um, you want to get an acetone. You have to make sure you get the right nail polish remover with acetone in it. So there you go. That is my quick and dirty 20 minute review of my favorite glues. I plan on doing this with some tools, um, but my, my main goal here is to help those that are new 
understand that you don't need a whole lot and you don't need to get what other people have. You need to figure out what you can get in your area, read the packages. You don't need 50 glues. You need a good glue stick, in my opinion, something that holds fabric, and something with a fine tip. And you can use other bottles. You can buy bottles on Amazon with little cover caps, tips, whatever, and use those to put your glue in if you get a big giant bottle. I have heard many times that school glue is not the best to use. Um, people do use PVA glue, which is basically a white glue. Polyvinyl acetate, I think it stands for, or acrylic, or something like that. So there you go. Hope this helps some of you that are new and some of you that haven't been happy with your glue. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day. Happy crafting. Love you all for being here. Give me a thumbs up if you feel this was helpful. Pass it on to someone who might be looking for advice. Take care. Bye. Stay safe.